This story explores the relationship between urban and suburban places, and how television programming translates the two into both invented and actual realities. In the face of scripted urban escape or TV, a teenage boy becomes disillusioned with his suburban existence. While in the daydream, the boy blends various urban scenarios such as sitcoms, or advertising, into a collaged urban existence. The ambition of this work is to consider an urban space as relationship to televised representation, with specific interest in how scripted scenarios translate into reality and occasionally self-perpetuate. Hi, Billy Mays here. If you're having problems with hard water buildup, soap scum, ring around the toilet, calcium lime and rust stains, then you need Kaboom. Spray Kaboom on a shower. Shorts as well. In fact, what we're looking at is what we're going to be seeing right... Uh, yeah, we're carrying on looking at it properly. Because this is a two-pack. It's brand new today. And you've got the, uh, the high-waisted shorts and briefs in one pack. So you're choosing the same colour. Get on track with Nordic Track, the world's best aerobic exerciser. Regular exercise on Nordic Track helps you stay mentally alert, increase your productivity, and perform at your best. It's packed. Thinkable? Unthinkable. Look how they float. Go 
keep him down So he can't, she can't, you can't sing the unsinkable taste of Cheerios Not a lot of sugar to weigh down those Cheerios The unsinkable taste before we die. That's right. What's going on out there? What did corn come in? Can we get it one more? It's like a Hummer from hell. The Hummer Hellmobile. Uh, corn is getting mobbed uh, live in Times Square right now, trying to make their way into the uh, 45th Street entrance. A very unconventional entrance. I don't believe in uh, 120 bills or something. We've ever seen a band just coming in a Hummer and, and just you know, drop it right off. and. I am so fucking bored. pattern. And immediately I have to ascribe that this is something and this is something else. So I put a this or that scenario onto it. If this is something then what is that? It's called layering an arbitrary discipline on the situation to make it become reactive to your immediate needs. You ascribe meaning onto it as a component of the context you place in it. Now's the time to buy a home, because Century 21 offices are opening doors for you. It's our Century 21 Open House Weekend. This weekend, we're opening doors all over the area. Thick. You just might have a problem. Hurry.
Hershey's Big Block. One big, thick block of delicious Hershey's chocolate. Get a head cold or remember this to relieve congestion sinus pressure sneezing and runny nose no leading nasal spray offers more kinds of relief ingredients than four-way nasal spray Dristan long-lasting doesn't you make room for all of life's adventures with over 2,000 locations nationwide we help more people hold on to the good stuff than anyone else reserve today and your first month's rent is only a dollar call 1-800-44-STORE or visit publicstorage.com to find a location some of the new cars tend to be choosy when it comes to fuel. Well, let it please run, let it. First time I ever run out. Please, follow that truck. <laughs> Hondas are different. All Honda engines operate without a catalytic converter, so you can use either regular or unleaded gas. Fill her up? Yes. Uh, which one, ma'am? You rush me, young man. If you own a Honda, you can be the one who's choosy. Biggest videos of the year. Sit back and enjoy. It's the TRL Top 40 of 2000. So they, um... So they're trying to make this movie Clifford, and they're thinking, well, now, uh, who can we get? It's either going to be a 10-year-old... precocious 10-year-old. Yeah, precocious 10-year-old actor, or Martin Short. They did the right thing. They got Martin Short. Here he is, Clifford.
we came to understand televised media as a space generator, both in terms of perceived place and actual real estate development. If this media can infiltrate and influence the construction of physical scenarios, are architects and planners then missing opportunities to participate in this form of production? Look at the uh, the U.S. Ex exhibition in Moscow in 1959. It emerges as this kind of critical point in both countries' histories, yeah. right? Exactly. Because tensions have, at, a, at a pretty high point. At the exactly. You have the uh, the heads of state coming together at like a very critical time. You know, the, you have the Cuban Missile Crisis it's, going at this it's time. It's between the Cold War. Exactly. Yeah, and Russia and the U.S. previously. So. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, uh, and then the Americans, when they put together this exhibition, they portrayed it, uh, they intended it to be a portrayal of U.S. power and technology, capability. All their technology, what exactly. we're doing, you know. Exactly. You have the amazing pieces of infrastructure, you have, the, you know, the household goods that are top yeah. of the line. It's about cars and the cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have the modern kitchen where the uh, famous kitchen debates took place. Focus on the individual. Plentifulness, yeah. uh, it's about freedom, and this was very much so the topic. When totally you embodied the in the Eames film. Exactly, yeah. So you look at the, the welcoming piece uh, of the whole exhibit. You have these kind of seven screens of yeah. U.S. power and capability. Overwhelming, too. The multiple it is, images. Exactly. Very, exactly. very yeah. Yeah, current, exactly. in a way. Exactly. And again, it comes down to freedom of the press, uh, freedom of choice, freedom of time. Freedom uh, travel, freedom of travel, the travel. Freedom of the automobile. Exactly. You know. Cars will liberate you, and obviously all of this is by these amazing pieces of infrastructure and the and United housing. States. Housing, yeah. exactly, yeah. Uh, and Look it leads to the yeah. ultimate the kind of embodiment rises. of yeah. U.S. power in cities and skyscrapers that reach for the sky. Yeah, the capitalist system that could really exactly. put this forward and that, you know, maybe the socialist ideas of Russia aren't nearly as good. Exactly. And, you know, you look at it and, again, it comes down to this duality. Uh, genial on the surface and uh, propaganda underneath. Yeah. 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 And it's universal. Okay, our group's topic is haircut style. And we're looking at the Cold War um, from the exhibition perspective firstly, and which is held in 1959, July 24th in Moscow about the American exhibition. Why do you think they hold this kind of exhibition? Uh, actually, it's to show their and power. power, yeah, it shows their power because it's in Cold War and the, the people in the picture is actually Nixon, the vice president. It's like a open ceremony? Yeah, it's open ceremony and uh, behind them is the pavilion. It's a fashion show? Yeah, fashion show and 
the the woman.、Uh, I think it's the Americans. Yeah, they did express their culture. You see the man,、oh. like a cowboy. Yeah. yeah, and this is the picture of the、uh, Soviet soldiers having haircut. Yeah, having haircut. So they are soldier too. Yeah, soldiers too, and they have similar haircuts and also the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, th- this picture reminds me my mom's old photo, and she's like the similar haircut in China. Na- in China, yeah, nineteen seventies or nineteen、mm. eighties, and we China always follow the Soviet step at that time. You know. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's <laughs> like cult- it. Culture, no culture, fashion.、Right? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> at the same time. Uh, yeah, American style in nineteen、okay. fifties. Oh, that is. Uh, differences between、yeah. capitalism and socialism. Yeah, yeah. they're very drama and、uh, crazy. Yeah, Hollywood、uh, style and New York, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's why American won the won the Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> right.、Um, So traditionally, war has been about territorial occupation. But after the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which stated no nation can territorially occupy a celestial body, it put the Cold War into a different context, where the Soviet Union and the United States couldn't actually territorially occupy、um, celestial bodies, but instead could, for example, try to explore them. How do you think this changed the nature of the Cold War? Yeah, I don't think it changed it that much.、Um, I just think that like it's just、um, it's like a mutual ground, like a com, like a mutual、uh, agreement of like the fur the further and the future、uh, exploration into space, so that they can like all the countries and nations they can set aside、um, just this argument about the territory and the ownership of. Their colonization. Yeah, in the sometimes you know it、yeah. just at least、uh, speed up the competition、so, yeah. and make it even more intense and kind of、yeah. eliminated、levels. that、yeah. sense of、um, colonization. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is like I think this is a really interesting image because now you, if you look at it, this imagination of like the colonize in on moon and、yeah. it shows and man, man is always ambitious about other places. Yeah, but yeah. now like look at our、um, like if you're gonna be,、uh, build a space station on moon or even on Mars in the future. Like it won't look like that anymore. It's just like purely based on technology. Maybe this will be some kind of influ- influences from,、yeah. like the more powerful country. Like how they develop their technology, how yeah, and their sense. Such a treaty definitely drove technology further instead of、yeah. being so focused with、um, kind of rivaling each other. It's a series of corporate、um, cooperation and being yeah, able to yeah. work、Sometimes、together. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they need to cooperate. You know, one side、Absolutely. is just not powerful enough. Yeah.